everyone, my name is Oleg and today we continue our instrument training videos with an NDB approach in our flight and navigation procedure trainer FNPT2. Let's look at the chart first. Non-directional beacon or NDB approach is a non-precision approach where NDB is used as a primary navigational aid. The approach minimums for NDB are usually higher than any other uh, instrument approach. This is because NDB signals are less precise and are subject to several types of interference. Today we will be flying NDB DME approach for runway 02 in Vilnius International Airport. On the top of the chart we can find the radio frequencies for communication, uh, frequency of the beacon, final approach course, uh, minimum altitude, and uh, elevation, so on. And the important for us is the missed approach procedure, so we will be climbing on heading uh, 015 via NDB to 3000 feet and then waiting for vectors. And if we have uh, communication failure and we need to, to perform missed approach, we will climb on the same heading to via NDB to reach 2700 feet at distance 9 miles and then left to NDB climbing 4000 feet. Here is our approach scheme. After beacon we will turn right to heading 105 till 9.9 .9 miles from Victor November Oscar, Vilnius VOR, and then back on uh, final course 095 till 7.2 miles from Victor November Oscar. Uh, we will stop descent uh, following this table, keeping our vertical speed from this table. Our minimums for today will be 1070 feet, and uh, for category A, minimum runway visual range will be 1,500 meters. Now we are in the air near Venus International and I will request NDB approach for us. Vilnius approach, Lima Yankee Bravo Alpha Kilo, 5,000 feet QNH 1013 uh, for NDB approach on 02. Lima Alpha Kilo, proceed to Alpha Victor November, descend 3,000 feet on QNH 1013 and after passing NDB clear to NDB approach runway 02. Report on final track. Descend 3000 feet, QNH 1013 to Alpha Victor November. Passing Alpha Victor November cleared for NDB approach runway 02 will report final track Lima Yankee Bravo Alpha Kilo. Okay, now we are almost over Alpha Victor November. As you can see, that arrow starts to move, so we are over it. And after it, according to chart, I need to turn right to heading 195 and descent to 3,000 feet. Today we have no wind, so it will be easier for us. Okay, now we are on our heading 195, and we will keep this heading till 9.9 .9 miles from Victor November Oscar, Vilnius VUR, on frequency 113.80. Here in small window you can see the distance. So when it will be 9.9, .9, we can start a uh, base turn. And because we are cleared to NDB approach, we can set altitude already to uh, 2,700 feet. Our minimum altitude till 7.2 miles from Victor November Oscar on final track. Okay, we maintain, will maintain 2,700 feet till 9.9 .9 miles and let's look at the indication. So as you can see, this arrow will show us the direction to NDB. So the tricky part will be after right turn to fly heading uh, 015 and that uh, this arrow should uh, be perfectly on top. As you can see, we are flying opposite track to final and the NDB uh, is almost right behind us, which is, showing on the, which is shown on the HSI here. We are almost 9.9 .9 miles and should be ready for base turn. Okay, 9.9 .9 miles, starting right turn. Ok, 
Okay, we are almost on our final heading and the arrow is showing us perfectly on top. So I think I can report to ATC that I am on final track. Lima Yankee Bravo Alpha Kilo on final track, 0-2. Okay, my Alpha Kilo, 9 miles from touchdown, change to tower, 118 decimal 2, goodbye. 118 decimal 2, goodbye, have a nice day, Lima Yankee Bravo Alpha Kilo. Vilnius Tower, Lima Yankee Bravo Alpha Kilo on final track, 0-2 for a full stop landing. Lima Alpha Kilo, wind calm, visibility 4,000 meters, clear to land, runway 0-2. Clear to land, 0-2, Lima Yankee, Bravo Alpha Kilo. Okay, so we got our clearance to land. We can continue with uh, before landing procedures. Fuel pump on, landing light on, and uh, flap speed check, flap stand. We will keep 2,700 feet till 7.2 miles from Victor November Oscar. And then we will start descent with a vertical speed approximately uh, 500 feet per minute. And then follow this table from a chart. Okay, approaching 7.5, reducing RPMs. Okay, 7.2, start descent, and from the table we should be at 6 miles from Victor Lambrusco, we should be at altitude 2,300 feet approximately. Okay, 6 miles, and we are at 2,300 feet, perfect. The next altitude will be on uh, uh, 5 miles, and the uh, altitude will be 2,000 feet. Five miles, altitude 2,000 feet, okay. Next stop is four miles, and altitude will be 1,600 feet approximately. Okay, four miles, 1,600 feet, perfect. Next one is uh, three miles, and altitude 1,300 feet. Okay, three miles, 1,300 feet, perfect. And next is our minimums, which is approximately 1,100 feet. Continue present heading. Okay, 100 above, look outside. Yes, I think I can see the runway. Minimums, runway inside, landing, and I will set go around altitude, which is 3,000 feet for us, just in case. And here is our runway. As you, as you can see, we arrived a little bit from, uh, from the side, because this is NDB, non-precision approach. So we will need a slightly turn to the right before landing. Okay. On the ground. Today we showed you how basically NDB approach looks like. If you have any ideas for our instrument videos or you're interested in some kind of approaches, please share it with us in comments. And that's all. Thank you for watching.